Hello, Wedding Wanderers. My name is Asumpta and welcome to another episode of Ave Creations TV, a home for busy professionals and entrepreneurs who want to plan a timeless, sophisticated and unforgettable wedding or special celebration. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's episode, I am going to be talking you through the creation of a nice um, Thanksgiving, fall, autumn, whatever you call it, tablescape. While it can be applied to your wedding, it can also be applied to your dining table. Depending on when you watch this video, we may still be in the midst of the coronavirus and the pandemic, which we are as of when I'm recording it. So in the UK, we are currently on a four week lockdown, so no weddings are happening at all and you can't mix households. However, that does not mean you cannot jazz up your table for you and whoever you live with or just for yourself in preparation for Thanksgiving or just a meal for yourself or if you're thinking about getting married next year in the autumn slash fall if you're American then I hope that this gives you a little bit of inspiration. This is it for me talking, I don't want to bore you too much. I will do a little voiceover um, while I show you how I got to this. I hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions, I can't necessarily say I went super in depth, but like I said, if you have any questions then please let me know in the comments. If you like it, then like the video. On with the details. I began with washing the pumpkins. As you can see here, I'm just using regular dishwashing soap and water so that I could prepare them for spray painting. I didn't want any debris on. I'm using a white chalk paint. I wanted that kind of matte finish, chalky finish um, when it was dry. I would suggest that you actually, if you have more time, I was in a rush, spray one side, let it dry and then spray the other side. I also covered the stalks so that they would be green at the end. As you can see, I did not cover them well enough. So the paper fell off and I ended up with white on the stalk, which was not ideal. But you can always paint over them or go over them with marker if you really want to. As you can see, I'm just kind of like lifting them up to um, spray paint both sides. I wasn't super fussed about the bottom not being perfect. I sprayed my munchkin pumpkins, that's what they were called in the store, they're really tiny, with a gold spray paint and it was a very bright gold, it gave a really great finish, it looked really good. So here I am showing you the beginning, um, this is my blank canvas, this is actually not my dining table, it's my parents dining table because they have more space, it's a solid marble table. Well, here I am showing you the flowers. These are all the flowers that I used for the arrangement. I didn't want to use too much foliage, so there was only a little bit used. And so as not to bore you or keep you here for ages, I sped up me actually arranging them. If you want to see a more detailed process of how to create a floral arrangement like this, I can record that in future for you. So you would just have to let me know. I re reflexed some of the roses so that um, they would cover more surface area and give a really interesting look and feel to the arrangement. Here I am now placing the crockery charger plates first, then the crockery and the linen, as you can see. My charger plates are from Dunelm Mill. I will link them below and so are my napkins. The crockery I'm using it has an iridescent finish so it catches the light really well. It's really, really nice. They're handmade and I got them from TK Maxx. I am now adding my tapered candles in various colours to go with the colour scheme. I really liked that. I didn't want to use the same candles the whole way through and I would advise you do that so that you add a bit of interest and texture. I am struggling here with lighting the candles simply because I did not cut the wick short enough and I've kept this in purposely so that you can see <laughs> how much of a faff it is and so that you don't make the same mistake. And here is the finished product. Um, there you can see the reflex roses, I've lit the candles. Something that is missing from this table are my tea lights and I show you those at the end but it does give 
an interesting look to the table when you add some lower lighting especially when you're using tapered candles it draws the eye up if you can have some um sorry tea lights if you can add some tea lights then it also draws the eye down and adds some softer lighting closer to people's eye line uh, that's particularly important if you are going to dim the lights in this dining room you can dim the lights so it it adds a really lovely effect you can see that i use gold cutlery and gold rim glasses in keeping with the whole kind of gold blush um, cream theme and you can see the pumpkins turned out really well when they dried to give a chalk finish i did not want them to be orange or in my case i used squashes which were white already but they weren't white enough hence why i sprayed them with spray paint please be careful when using candles this is the setup at in the evening with the lights turned off so you could see how atmospheric it can be where um, the reason why I say be careful with the candles because they are quite tall and the arrangements are tall you do not want to set anything on fire so make sure that you leave enough space between your arrangements and any candles that you're using so as not to set anything on fire as I said it was really fun creating this tablescape and I hope that you've enjoyed watching and that you're able to create something similar if you like it um, you are free to use candles in all the same color if you want to here is what it looks like with the tea light candles as you can see it's just a bit more interesting if you are dining family style and want to share food then you can move the pumpkins to one side or group them so that you're able to put food on the tables thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it